Hello, my name is Oren, and I want to introduce you to something called the uh, the Quill, this little uh, device that I've been working on. It's a little device that you see here that uh, connects to your computer, your phone, your tablet, and sends MIDI data over BLE to your phone, tablet, computer, and it plays MIDI data with any software that you have, or you could even use that MIDI data and send it to some hardware, like I'm going to show you. So let me show you what's inside of this little quill. So inside, I have a little board that I designed that has a battery inside. It's got a couple buttons for controls, an RGB LED, and it's got a uh, microcontroller on it, like a little SOC that has the BLE built in, the accelerometer, the gyroscope. I added a magnetometer, but it also handles the chip, handles the uh, charging, it handles everything else that I need to get this guy running. Also on it, there are some MEMS microphones. MEMS is a microelectronic mechanical device, I think. I don't know what it stands for exactly. I keep forgetting. But using these MEMS microphones, I can also do a frequency analysis and use it to uh, tune and get MIDI data from that tuning. So you could wear the quill as a choker, and from the vibrations of your vocal cords, you could play your instruments. It's another cool feature, too, that I will show you guys another day. But for now, I want to show you the Quill and how it works to control my hardware synthesizers. So right here, we have this little modular synthesizer of mine. And I have a simple patch going. And in this simple patch, I have MIDI coming in here. And it's playing a oscillator, an analog oscillator, a VCO. It's a uh, pretty much makes various waveforms, raw waveforms. Let's see if we could hear what that sounds like on its own. So, let's see. So, so that is the oscillator. And I could change the shape of the analog waveform to be a simple sine wave that's pretty inaudible transferring all the way into a triangle wave with many more harmonics. So, down for now. So we're taking this MIDI data, taking the note values, and plugging that in to control the oscillator's uh, one volt per octave, which is pretty much what note is being played. Then we're taking the gate. The gate is when to make a sound or uh, and when the sound ends. So we're taking that gate and we're putting it into an envelope generator. And an envelope generator, pretty much once it gets that gate, you get a little curve of some sort and that's when you hear that sound. So let's uh, just try the envelope. And then the envelope output is going into a filter which essentially cuts out the sound and prints it back in, almost like that sound that DJs do when they try to do stuff on stage. So let's hear just what that sounds like. So right now we have... There's the oscillator through the filter with the filter open. So let's close the filter. And you hear that pulsing? That's the envelope going. And I could elongate that. I could shorten that. Essentially, that's your envelope. So now let's get the MIDI note data back in. All right, and then we're going to take the velocity, which is essentially how hard you hit the note which I have mapped onto here to the pitch and roll. And that's going to the shape to change the timbre. So now we have the quill. When I rock it forward and backwards, it's changing the timbre of the notes being played. To triangle and back down to a sine wave with less harmonics. And then, when I turn it, I get different note values.
All right. Now you might ask, why would you want this? Well, this is one example of the many things that this device can do. As you saw, there are three different buttons. Where did I put it? Right here. There are three different buttons. One to turn it on and two others to cycle through settings. And there are various settings that you could have. One of them, uh, for example, you could put this guy on a table and when you tap the table, it will send out drum, it will send out MIDI data and you could set that up with a drum machine. You could have some drum beats going and you could tap it out on the table. Um, there are many uses for this guy, but this one I just showed you is just a fun compositional tool. I mean, you're in the studio, you're like, what am I gonna do? You could set the, uh, the scale that you want and the key and you could sort of jam along. So let's see, let's get a drum beat in this. Let's see, where's my little drum beat? All right. So that's the uh, quill. I'll have more videos to come. Thanks for watching.